Picture this, it's the mid-1950s, and you're lounging in your cozy living room. The black and white television flickers to life, and there, on your screen, you meet a quartet of unforgettable characters. Ralph Cramden, the lovable, blustering bus driver, his sharp-witted wife, Alice, his ever-loyal buddy, Ed Norton, and Ed's sweetly quirky wife, Trixie. Your first encounter with the Honeymooners feels like a warm embrace, a window into a bygone era of classic comedy. As you watch, you can't help but chuckle at Ralph's grandiose schemes and harebrained get-rich-quick ideas, which invariably lead to hilarious calamity. Alice's witty comebacks and unwavering support add a delightful layer of humor to the mix. Ed and Trixie, with their charming eccentricities, complete this unforgettable ensemble. The show's simple yet timeless premise, set against the backdrop of a humble Brooklyn apartment, draws you into a world where laughter reigns supreme. But did you know that The Honeymooners was originally a sketch on the Jackie Gleason show before it became a standalone series? Or that it only ran for a single season, consisting of 39 episodes, yet left an indelible mark on the landscape of American television comedy? So, sit back, relax, and let's delve into some intriguing facts about this iconic show that continue to tickle our funny bones even decades later. The Honeymooners, a testament to the enduring power of laughter, is a true classic that's worthy of both our nostalgia and admiration. The Honeymooners, a classic 1955 TV series centered around the lives of the Crandons and the Nortons, two working class couples living in Brooklyn. While it's often said that the characters resided in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, their apartment building was actually located at 328 Chauncey Street in Bushwick, New York City. The show's star, Jackie Gleason, based the set on his childhood address, which added a touch of authenticity to the series. Gleason believed that Bensonhurst had a more Brooklyn ring to it for viewers outside of New York City. Despite the show's success, CBS and Buick, the sponsor, wanted a second season. However, Jackie Gleason refused. He felt that the quality of the scripts wouldn't hold up for another season. This decision emphasized the importance of maintaining the show's integrity over commercial interests. One intriguing aspect of The Honeymooners is Audrey Meadows' contract. She was the only cast member to receive residual payments for her entire life. This foresight was thanks to her shrewd manager, who predicted the concept of reruns even in the early days of television. As part of her contract, Meadows stipulated that if the show were to air in future time slots, she would be paid royalties. This pioneering move set a standard for the television industry, where today, all those involved in an episode receive payment for each showing of it, including directors, actors, writers, and voice actors. The Honeymooners left an indelible mark on television history, not just for its humor but also for the behind-the-scenes decisions that continue to shape the industry. In the 1955 TV series The Honeymooners, there's an interesting connection with another popular animated show, The Flintstones. The four main characters from The Honeymooners later served as prototypes for the four main characters in The Flintstones. Fred Flintstone was inspired by Ralph Cramden, Wilma by Alice, Barney by Ed Norton, and Betty by Trixie. This influence is a testament to the enduring appeal and impact of The Honeymooners on television history. In The Honeymooners, a running gag in the sketches on the Jackie Gleason show involved Ralph making remarks to Trixie about her previous career as a burlesque dancer. However, when the series was spun off as a separate show, this aspect was toned down, and Trixie's dancing career was rarely mentioned. This change was likely made to suit the broader audience of the standalone series and maintain a more family-friendly tone. One of the iconic catchphrases from The Honeymooners is Ralph's exclamation of bang. Zoom. It might surprise you to learn that Jackie Gleason improvised every instance in which Ralph said this famous line. It was never actually written in any of the scripts, making it a testament to Gleason's improvisational talent. So, in addition to the classic comedy and memorable characters, The Honeymooners has left its mark on television history through its influence on the Flintstones and the improvisational genius of its star, Jackie Gleason. In the 1955 TV series The Honeymooners, Audrey Meadows, who played the role of Alice, received numerous household items from fans. These items included curtains, pot holders, and irons. Fans wanted to see Alice with better things on the show, so they sent these items to Audrey Meadows. In one instance, a fan even sent her 10 cents to buy a curtain rod, as it was too difficult to mail one. 
This generous gesture from the fans reflected the connection and affection the audience had for the characters of the Honeymooners, especially Alice. It showed how the show resonated with viewers, and they wanted the characters to have a better life. Audrey Meadows' role as Alice was beloved and the fans' contributions added an extra layer of authenticity to the character's modest household. It's a testament to the show's impact and the strong bond between the cast and their audience. So, the next time you watch The Honeymooners, remember that the curtains, potholders, and irons in Alice's home might have come from devoted fans who simply wanted to make her world a little brighter. This interesting tidbit about The Honeymooners gives us a glimpse into the show's enduring popularity and the affection fans had for the characters. And that's a fascinating piece of trivia from the world of classic television. In 1955, The Honeymooners, a beloved TV series, introduced a unique approach to television production. The show, starring Jackie Gleason as Ralph Cramden, was deliberately staged as a play in front of a live audience. This was a relatively new concept for television at the time. Gleason opted to forego extensive rehearsals, wanting to capture the authentic feel of a live performance, even though the episodes were taped and aired later. Due to the minimal rehearsal time, nearly all episodes contained a mix of errors and unplanned moments. Lines were dropped, entrances were missed, actors corrected or covered for each other, and there were moments of general confusion. Jackie Gleason made the unconventional decision not to reshoot or conceal these flaws. He believed that these imperfections added to the charm of the show, giving the audience the sensation of watching a live broadcast. Gleason's commitment to this unique approach became a defining feature of The Honeymooners. It showcased the raw, unpolished nature of live performances and resonated with the viewers, making the show a classic in the history of television. This article is based on information from IMDb and reflects the innovative approach Jackie Gleason brought to The Honeymooners in 1955, creating a timeless and enduring television series. As we bid adieu to our journey through the world of The Honeymooners, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the unique and enduring connection you forged with this iconic 1955 TV series. Like a timeless classic, this show has woven its way into the tapestry of our lives, leaving us with a treasury of laughter, wit, and wisdom. Perhaps you found yourself laughing along with Ralph Cramden's outlandish schemes or sympathizing with Alice's unwavering patience. Maybe the boisterous banter between Norton and Ralph became the soundtrack to your evenings, and the modest Brooklyn apartment their stage, a place you visited time and time again. Now, it's your turn to share your cherished memories and thoughts about the Honeymooners. Did a particular episode leave you in stitches? Have you ever found yourself quoting Ralph's famous exclamation, To the moon, Alice? Or maybe you've been inspired by the genuine warmth and friendship that always triumphed over adversity in the show. Your stories and reflections are the living proof of the series' enduring magic connecting generations, and reminding us that laughter and love are universal languages. We extend our heartfelt gratitude for your time and interest in this journey through the golden age of television, brought to you with care and creativity just for you and proudly.